I was working uh, for a magazine in Brazil called Realidade when uh, I was asked to go and work in the Amazon, photograph in the Amazon. I spent uh, about a month traveling along the lower Amazon to a place called Maturaca, where were living uh, a group of Yanomami Indians. Obviously, while I was in Maturaca, in this village, I photographed a lot. The uh, magazine saw the material and they were very touched by the Yanomami. They put a Yanomami woman on the cover of the magazine and about four to six pages inside. I never felt like a reporter because that is not, that wasn't what I was seeking. I didn't want to work anymore in photojournalism. And I decided that I would try uh, to do an ongoing work and find out who the Yanomami people were. I applied for a grant, and with that, I decided to return to the Yanomami, but uh, I didn't want to go back to Maturaka, so I had a, actually a friend who already had been to the Yanomami before, who suggested that I should try to go uh, in Roraima, and I arrived uh, in Catrimani. They were as much interested in me as I was in them. And I was very welcome, and they were very open. And I was very happy with all this. What struck me most was the uh, very gentle way in which I was treated and their uh, interest in knowing people. They were not at all afraid of me. Uh, they always came up to me and they touched me to see what I was like. They weren't quite sure when I got there if I was a woman or a man, so they asked me. Obviously, I didn't know the language, so we kind of talked through gestures and smiles and so on. I lived like them. We, we were all together, and I always felt part of them, and I think they had the same feeling for me. And I think that that was very important to understand these people. I very much like this picture of this young man, and it's the way he looks. His look is what always attracted me in people, the way people look. Look at the world, look at you. There is a lot of peace in their looking, in their expression. This is a communal house. This was at the Catrimani. See a round shelter in which uh, they lived. It was like the center of, of life. This thatch is, uh, with time, they, uh, they open up uh, spaces and let the light in. And when it gets to the point where uh, it doesn't protect anymore the people in the hut, one has to destroy it and move on and build a new one. In the end, it became kind of my practice to live that way. Go, take film and uh, photograph, 
learn. Later on, I took up uh, photography as a language of art, and that's what I'm doing today.